Okay, so while I'm writing down all of our plans for this second week, I just wanted to kind of talk about what planning, homeschool planning is for me. Um, you'll hear different concepts out there and um, across social media outlets of like planning from behind and uh, memory keeping planning and just personal planning. There's so many different ways to approach it and that, that will ebb and flow um, through your personal homeschooling journey as well, possibly. Um, for me, it's kind of a blend of everything. I do some planning from behind and some just functional planning and some of it is kind of that memory keeping type planning where you're journaling things down um, that you want to remember from the year. So and that's another thing that I really like about this Apologia Ultimate Homeschool Planner is that it kind of makes space for all of those things. Um, if you look at my other homeschool planner flip through video, you'll see how this planner has an entire spread um, as you're prepping for the week. That gives you room to write down what you're, how you're approaching the week mentally, spiritually, physically, and then also space to come from behind and say, these are the things that I saw happen this week and um, the grace of God in our homeschooling that we um, bore witness to this week. And so it's just a great way to stay grounded throughout the entire homeschool year for me um, and mentally engaged, emotionally engaged, spiritually engaged through every week. Um, so I'm really excited to see how this year unfolds, having a little bit more of a, a workload, so to speak, for our students, for our kids. Um, fifth grade is kind of a, a whole new educational front for us as far as like just the skills that um, he's going to be acquiring and fine-tuning and, and mastering this year with um, his personhood and his academics and um, just all the wonderful things that are in front of our oldest I'm really excited for and then having our middle child be in first grade and the joy of learning um, you know how to read for himself and just opening a whole new world for him through books um, when he'll be building his independent reading and then our little preschooler um, and just watching him have fun learning and picking up on things, being alongside of his brothers as they do their history and their science together. Um, you know, as much as much as he will like to or not like to be part of that, uh, he'll get to kind of decide for himself. But I bet he'll be right in the of everything because that's just how he rolls. Uh, so we're really excited about that. And I look forward to being able to just document all the fun things that happened for us throughout this year. So now I've moved on to planning for our preschooler and planning for the preschool years isn't necessarily a necessity. But for me to be able to sit here and write out what we're going to be doing that week as it relates to what his brothers are doing, just builds excitement and anticipation for me as I write things down and see what's in store for him for the week. Um, you know, I get to think about all the um, activities and the great books that we're going to read and maybe the experiments or other little components that are going to be brought into our learning this week and then see um, moments where Blaze will get to be a part of that or I know that he'll be right in the middle of it and then also with his preschool work um, for the week just building that anticipation and excitement for it for myself and um, what I know will like 
be some of his favorite moments and then also some of the things we're like well he may not be too into this but we're still going to put it in front of him and try and see what happens um so yeah it's just a way for me to put everything together um and make kind of a big picture of what i'm dreaming for our week to be like and what learning opportunities that we are going to have put in front of us as well as um you know those spontaneous things that are natural to come about when you have three different personalities learning new things together you know curious questions and well can we try this or do you think this is how that happened and so all these things are just going to unfold, but it's fun to put all three of these boys and what they're learning together in one place and um, just kind of start building an idea of how our week is going to unfold together as a family and um, what's in store for us. So yeah, I just go through the, I have all the peaceful preschool printed out and put in a binder. Um, it's a digital file that I purchased from Peaceful Press. And then um, it has a weekly grid that lines everything out for you. Like I literally do not have to plan anything, but the act of transposing those activities into my planner. So I know I can just have one book in front of me for the whole week and not have to keep track of different components to make sure I know what the next thing is. This just lets it all be together. And it also gives me that time to write down um, materials that I need to gather, things I need to purchase, um, looking ahead at what's gonna be the best day to do this activity. The you know curriculum proposes you do it on a Friday, but maybe we should do it on a Monday when daddy's off work and he could be a part of it too. You know, just different things. So if it makes sense for me to go ahead for myself to go ahead and build this right into my planner as well. So this is my planning process for now. Um, it will probably grow and change a little bit as the year progresses, as I, um, you know, find my feet, so to speak, as the home educator, <clears throat> excuse me. But yeah, it's, this is kind of what it looks like for me on a weekly basis of writing everything out and um, daydreaming, so to speak, what our going to look like. Oh, thanks for watching.